Okay, so this is a video demonstration of how the school management software works. Um, this is the interface you get right after you log in. And then on the left side, we have the menu. So we can start with the students list and then continue to the rest. So to add a student, you click on add student. Then you select the branch. And then it gives you the form to fill so you can enter the you can select the academic year and um, the class the section the category if it's maybe day or boarding then you can enter the the name you enter their email if they have and then you can enter the appearance information over here and then once you're done you just save it and then it goes into the students list over here you can enter the categories as well so i click on that we've entered to already day and body but whatever category that works for you you can use that as well let's come to the student details you click on student list and here you have to filter so then you use you select the branch and you can have more than one branch in the system and some schools do have multiple branches so you can do that select the class then you select the section, then you click on filter. And it gives you the, the full list of students in the in the in that particular class. And it gives you the their fee progress as well. So the hundred percent means that the student has paid everything, and then zero percent means they are yet to start paying. So you can click on quick view to then give you a, a brief summary of their information. You can click on details to edit the student information. So you can click on that. And over here, you see that it gives you a brief breakdown of every part. So for their basic basic details, these are their student information. And then when you come down, this is the, their fee information as well. And you can come to the book here. If you've given them any books, there's the, their examination information is also there. And then the parents information is also there. And then if you have any documents attached to their information is also presented there okay so we come to the parent list so here you can get the list of parents and then you can either you can deactivate their logins as well the system allows for both the students and then the parents to be able to log in so you can do that come to employee and then users so here this is where you create the users over here we, are, we currently have the admin the teacher the accountant and then the librarian but then you can have more more users based on your needs. Then here, over here, you can click on this icon to get their full information. So this is an example where their salary transactions as well. And then the other details that you you enter. So in, anytime you want to add employee, you can just click on add employee and then they'll give you the form to fill. You select the branch, their yeah, designation, if it's in, so let's try this and then we have rules so over here. We're giving them maybe an admin role, the date they joined. And then the, so they work in the classroom, you can select that. Then you select the department as well. And over here you can enter <coughs> the other details that are required for them okay so let's go to school fees so for the school fees we have fee type fee group fine setup and the fees allocation and then fee pay as well so first you come with the, you come to the fee types this is where you enter all the fee types that apply to your school you come to the fee group so then over here you group the fee type to form a fee group that you can apply to the student so these are some sample ones that we've done already and you, if you have any fines you can set them, set them here and then you come to fees allocation so fees allocation is where you have to allocate so You click on filter 
and then once the list comes you can select so over here you can select the yellow so so this is a few group that i've already created and these are the students in that class so if i want to apply to them i just select those ones that the fee, fee applies to then i click on save and then it will apply to them and then when maybe a, a student is paying fees you just click on fee pay you select the class then you, you you select the student that is paying so let's say this, this student hasn't paid anything at all so let's click on collect then it gives you the breakdown of the items that they have been paid for. Now, in case you are collecting all of it, you can just click, they are all selected. So you can just select, select fee collection. Then over here, you can enter the amount that they are, they are paying. All the fees at once. So you can just cross check, make sure everything is okay. And then you click on fee payment, and then the fees will be paid. And if you just want to pay for maybe just two items out of the rest, you can just select the two items. And then you click on that as well. And then you just, you just pay for that as well. Then you, you generate a receipt. So let's, you, let's pay for this. Okay. So then it gives you an invoice that you can you can print out so we let's try and print out and see okay so with this you can print out and then give it to the students it will also be available in the student and the parents portal so that they can access it when they log in as well so let's come to Class present timetable. So this is where you add the classes and then the sections in the class, and then you can assign a teacher to a class too. So let's let's see the, the, the this is it. So you click here to add class, and then you click here to add sections. Okay, and then here you can assign a, a class teacher to a class using this. Over here, so you can enter all your subjects in the system. So you come here. Okay, so these are the subjects that we've already entered. You can create more if you want to. That's it. Then you can assign subjects to classes as well. So this is what we are, we've already done in the demo. Okay, and then you can come to teacher assign. Then you assign the teachers to subjects as well. So the class schedule is more like the cl class timetable. Let's look at one, one that we've done already in the system. You just click on it and then you filter. So this is the, the class timetable that we've done already. Yeah, you can, if you want to add an extra one, you can just click on add schedule. You select the, the class. Then the day, then you filter. Okay, so with this, you can start you enter the start time the end time and then the subjects that you'll be teaching for that day and then you you you, you save it so the students will have access to it where they can also know their timetable in their in their portal the parents will also have access to it okay then we come to promotion so let's say you've gone to the first and second and third term and then it's time for promotion you use this um, section to promote your students from one class to the other Let's go through it. Okay. So in this case, we select the the promote to in the academic year. So let's say you are done with 2022 and you are moving to 2023. So let's say this is the new academic session in the class. So let's say they are moving from um So we select a crutch here. So that means they are moving to the next class, which is here. So we select that. And then it shows the, the, the current amount that they are owing already. And then it will be um, carried forward into the next class that they are going to. So you just click on promote and then 
they promote it and it sends the, the bill as well. Okay. So we have live classrooms as well. If in case you want to do any live classrooms for your students, you want to join in the live classroom, you can use that one as well. Then you come to attendance. So you can mark attendance for students, employees, and then you can do exams attendance as well. Let's 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 give an example. Okay, so this is for students. If everybody, if everyone was absent, you can just click on that and it will do that as well. And then you can select them individual individually too. So something like this. Then you save it. And you, if you have any remarks, you just enter it. So, so you can just say oh, then, then you save it. Then you would have marked attendance for that day. Okay, so you can tell that the dates are here, then you can select whichever date you are marking the attendance for. Okay, so let's the same applies to the employees. Okay. Over here. You can come to HR payroll, and then this is where you, you create the payroll templates for the for your employees. So this this is a sample template. I'll edit it so you can see. Okay, so these are the on the on the left side is where the allowances are, and their their deductions are on the right. So you can add more rules. You can add more rules here. So once you add all the the basic salary, the grid, and then the deductions here to do the calculations for you, and then you can have your salary templates that you can apply to certain employees that you have. Mm -hmm. So this is where you assign the salary template to the employees, and then this is where you you make salary payments. And then I think we've made payments already for the, for this period. So let's say if I want to do it, this is July. So if I want to do it in, in the next month, I click on that. And that one is on paid. So I just click on pay now. And then it will give me the preview. And here I select what I'm paying by. If I'm paying by these methods, maybe cash or check or something, you select that. If it's bank transfer to you select the account that you are making the payment for and then you click on paid okay over here too you can manage salary advance applications maybe from your employees you can leave applications to can be managed over here now let's come to exams and assessment the exam exams and assessment you can um create an exam term so first term exam second term exams general exams you can do midterm whichever exams you have then you select you enter the hole here then you can create your distributions so the distribution is usually the classwork homework exams work whatever types of distributions you have you can create them here then you come to the exam setup so this is where you you enter so let's let's make an example so Set the term. So this is the term. Okay, so let me just change this to second term. Second term. Second term. Then I select this monthly and week. Then I select distribution. So I'm, I'm, in this case, we are using classwork homework. And then I think exam score. So we'll just save that. Then it would have created an examination. So he, this is where you add the schedules. The schedule is where you add the
Yeah, the schedule is where you add the time. The exam is starting and then ending. So uh, this is an example. And then you can come to the mark entries where you can enter the marks. Okay, so that's it. Uh, these are the distri uh, distributions that we selected already. So just start entering your marks. Then you save it. And then the grade ranges that we have in the system. And these are sample ones. So whatever works for your school, you can just use that. Okay. So then we come to homework as well. So over here, you can, the teacher can give homework to the students and then they can log in into the portal and then add their, do their homework as well. So something like this. So English will make we click on that and add. So this is where you add the homework, the date of the homework, date of submission. And then you can enter whatever homework that you need to add. If you have, there are some files that you need to attach, you just attach it and then you save it. And then they say all the students in the selected class and the session would have access to it. Be able to work on it. And then over here you can do your new deposits and then your expenditures, so petty petty expenditures. You can come to the report side. So the reports, there's fees reports, receipts reports, due fees reports, and then fine reports. That's that's those are the types of reports under the fees reports. You can come to your financial where you have your account statement, income reports, expense reports, transactions balance sheet. You can come to your attendance reports as well. Your Exam reports, your payroll reports, examination report card, and your tabulation sheet as well, where you can generate. So let's try for students and let's see. Then you just click on generate and then you generate the terminal report. So I selected two students, so it will generate it for two students. And this is how it looks like once done. Okay. You can have your tabulation sheets as well. Okay. So this is your tabulation sheet. So you can come to settings and then settings is where you do your school settings so you add your school name your logo and all those other things your crest and all that and you can come to role permissions so as a super administrator you can determine what each role can do in your school and this is where you also create rules so maybe if you have any special role in your school that you feel should have access to the software you can create other rules. So over here, let's look look at the rule for the teacher. So you found permission, and this is where it it gives you it tells you what the user can do and what they can't do. So we have view, add, edit, and delete. Test two. Okay. And then to change the academic year, so you can just come here and then you select which academic year. To. So in this case, we are using 2021, 2022. That's the academic year you're using currently. You can also click here to change your password and all work out. So, okay, so let's look at the, the logins for the other users. So let's log out first. And I just click on the accountant and then I log in. Okay. So over here, you can tell that the menu changes because then this is what the accountant has access to. So this is what, this is what all they can have access to. So let's log out and then log in as a, a teacher. Okay, so this is what the teacher also has access to in the software. And the, the librarian. This is what the librarian has access to. So 
the left point also. So, for the parents, they can see the, the details of their children. So, let's say this particular parent has two kids in the school. Um, let's look at what the first one has. And go to your fees history then you can tell the fees that you've paid for that period for your word and in case you want to print it too you can also print that you can check the attendance as well for the child so july okay and you can go and check the postcard for the child as well so the, the parents can also see it here and then they can print it out so, okay so let's log out and then log in as a student okay so this is what the student also has access to okay so that's that's about it